Now, the last 12 months have been a a bit like a horror film, haven't they, for many of us? Turns out the pandemic has inspired a lot of people to create something. And it was only a matter of time before we'd start to see films and TV series emerging about the pandemic, which is exactly what my next guest has done. 24-year-old actor and director Jason Farris from Adderbury near Banbury has just completed his independent film Homesick. And Jason joins me right now to tell us more. Jason, welcome back. Hi, Kat. How are you doing? Yeah, not too bad. It's been a good few years, I think, since we last spoke. And, and your professional life's moved on, clearly. Oh, yes. Uh, God, it was 2017, I think, was that we had uh, our first uh, interview together. And um, that was uh, my first film, which was actually my student release. And now, yeah, on to independent films and, and bigger things. So no, it's good I, to be back. I just, I love this. I mean, this is this is a big deal because your film is just about to debut on Amazon Prime. And that's where it's at these days. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the streaming services have been a lifesaver in lockdown, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So so how did all this come about? I mean, the film is called Homesick and I'll, I'll, I'll play a little clip of it in just a moment. And I've seen the trailer and oh my, oh my, this is this is the kind of thing that I, I'll be glued to. This is edge of seat stuff. This is kind of psychological kind of thriller. Is, is that, would that sort of sum it up? Uh, yeah. It, in the right way most so, definitely most definitely so how does how does um, this unfold because it's it's sort of in response to the pandemic and kind of telling you know the, the the story of the pandemic like we are living through a horror film you know it was um kind of a moment back in the first lockdown i think it was march um early april that we um m- me and my crew sort of said you know what we're going to be indoors for a long time we might as well start uh planning a film planning something for the next project and you know we thought what's a better story than a global pandemic i mean mm. uh you know sometimes life inspires art and um it was it was sort of opportunistic in that sense um but also you know we wanted to tell this story i think a lot of people have been well everyone has been affected by this so you know, it's a good opportunity to create something that a lot of people will relate to. Well, exactly. It's got that universal appeal, hasn't it? Because everybody has been living through this pandemic all around the world, you know, and often you watch films and, you know, you can relate to bits of it or little bits of the storyline, but absolutely everybody can relate to this. Yeah, I certainly hope so. I mean, it's very much about loneliness in self-isolation and how that can impact mental health. So, um, but it's got a bit of a, you know, thriller twist sort of uh, mixed in there. So, yeah, hopefully um, a lot of people enjoy it and and find it, you know, very um, familiar in a well, sense. Let's, let's hear some of the trailer right now. So th- this is the trailer for Homesick, your new film. With the toll of the disease rapidly increasing to the level of the infinity of the isolated health how is lockdown treating you? Good morning. Uh, I'm here from the local authorities about the current situation. And it's just you living here? Just me. Are you suffering from any symptoms? No, I don't think so. And how are you doing? Keeping busy. My parents still aren't home. The flight got cancelled, so... Just keep yourself inside until we get back. Until we get back. Yeah. Uh, it's chilling. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. But so how, how does a project like that start? Because you said, OK, first lockdown, you said to the crew, you know, we've got to do something, we want to tell this story. So you've got a blank sheet of paper. How on earth does a film come together and then be picked up by Amazon Prime? Well, you know, it's an interesting sort of um, situation where me and obviously my crew, we were just coming up with ideas and we figured that um, one of the things we couldn't do was go and film in lots of different locations. So, you know, we said, let's start small, let's start indoors, in inside in a home. Um, and, you know, parts of the film were taken directly from our experiences. So, you know, um, one of the uh one of the crew members 
actually got stuck in New, Ze New Zealand last mm. year. And um, we decided to put that in. We said, what if his parents were stuck in New Zealand? And that sort of gave justification for this character to be totally on his own during lockdown. Um, and then from there, the story just built. And as time went on and, and everything in 2020 sort of um, started to escalate, we, um, we were able to just add um, throughout the production process. Um, and yeah, so, and then, you know, Prime Video is where we're sort of shooting for. And um, that will be, I think, the perfect um, platform to, you know, sort of distribute and, and share this because, yeah. um, you know, it, it's a great place for everyone to access and, and um, you know, be amongst all those other titles that are sort of uh, referencing the, the lockdown and the pandemic. Yeah, I, I just think what's really clever about it is how loneliness and isolation really wreaks havoc with somebody's physical and mental state. And, and that's what happens during the film. Oh, most definitely. Yeah, there's it really descends. I mean, we've got um, so many points in the film where because this character's on their own and because they can't go anywhere, there's no one around there are just things that start to fall apart and um, slowly you see him descend into this place, which, uh, you know, without spoiling it, um, you really start to feel, wow, um, uh, this guy is surviving through something. It's, it's almost like the desert Island situation. You know, you're, yeah. you're alone, your resources are low. What do you do? <laughs> and it so, is, it's so, Believe, I mean, it has to be. I mean, you're an actor, you know, so, you know, you you are used to translating these emotions, even emotions that maybe you've never even felt. But but what how do you how do you reflect that that level of that that mental state, that heightened mental state, that that isolation, that loneliness because there was a sort of um, sense of you almost going slightly mad during the film as well. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so how yeah, do you, how, how do you translate that? Because you um, know, I, I, when you haven't really felt that before because you know a lot of actors okay so you know you you would normally go and do your research wouldn't you? So you it uh, so you gather some research you maybe would talk to people that had sort of lived out situations but you didn't do you couldn't do that. So how how do you kind of get into that zone so believably and authentically? You, you know, it's always a challenge to try and emulate, you know, a very uh, specific mindset and emotion. Um, I think with this in particular, like we said, it's such a relatable situation that you kind of have to take what you've experienced and exaggerate it. Mm. 10 times the amount. And I think at the time of filming, you know, as much as we were keeping busy and, uh, you know, we were making this film, um, there was a lot of um, negativity. And I think you, you know, what, what we sort of did is we took that negativity and said, well, you know, let's translate it into a situation. So uh, although it's a bit, you know, it's it's kind of hard to say, but it was it was a personal sort of translation. I think mm. um, a lot of it came from very personal feelings, which I had during the lockdown. And I think a lot of people felt that kind of um, darkness, that kind of depression, which comes from, you know, being um, con confined for such an extended period of time. Yeah. You weren't tempted to keep the beard. <laughs> I still have it. I do. I still have it. Um, um, you know, because over over the period of filming, you know, we we obviously I do. I grow out this beard, and <laughs> by the end of it, I look rather shaggy. And um, you know, art imitates life, and now life imitates art because um, lockdown three has meant I haven't visited a barber since October. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm almost growing a beard. You know, I mean, that's, it's been yeah. like, it's been like that for all of us, of course. And, and um, was part of I mean, I mentioned you from Adderby. Was part of it uh, filmed in Oxfordshire as well? Yes, yeah. We had a, a few scenes filmed in Abingdon, uh, in their town centre. We 
we took use of some of the locations there yeah. and we also were um very graciously allowed to film at broughton castle in banbury beautiful mm. um which is a beautiful location, absolutely. And um, Mr. Fines, who owns the place, um, was really accommodating to us and, and let us shoot there yeah. um, with a small crew and everyone social distanced. But yeah, it was, it was brilliant. So it's great to incorporate, you know, not just local talent, but also um, local uh, landmarks. Yeah, well, absolutely. And, and Oxfordshire's used, isn't it, in so much film. In fact, um, some filming going on at uh, Abingdon Airfield right now. Apparently, Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks, uh, their production, their new film. Uh, you what? Know, well, <laughs> what well, I'd give to be there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> one day, one yeah, day. I, well, absolutely one day. So how can people see this film? Because it's, it's honestly, it's really chilling. It's really haunting. It's really good. You know, obviously, from what I've seen, and I've seen the trailer, um, I want to see more. So how can we see it, Jason? Well, um, we are aiming to release on the 23rd of March. So on the 23rd of March, if you're able to log on to Prime Video, um amazon prime um will be hosting it on their platform so uh be sure to if you have a prime membership it should be free um but yeah that's where you'll be able to see it and stream it um and hopefully we'll also have some bonus content coming to the platform as well oh, wonderful and uh, i should imagine lots and lots of ideas and you can't wait to, to get out and film uh, something else a, a project perhaps in the horizon jason Another i certainly one? hope so yeah um I am I'm booked on something for Netflix in April, which has been a long pushback. But um, yeah, that one's going to be very exciting. But I can't say anything about oh, that. I was yet. All, say, all I can say is it's Netflix. Okay, well, you know, again, again um, your as I say, your career has gone from strength to strength since I last saw you in 2017. So look, when we when we can actually have people in the studio again, and I can sit down and literally look you in the eyes, uh, will you come back in and tell us all about that uh, new Netflix project then? I would be honoured, Kat. It would be my my genuine pleasure. So yes, I will absolutely do that. Well, I tell you, what, I will I will look forward to that day. Thank you so much for coming on. Good luck. Best <laughs> Thank of you. luck Thank with you that. For Thank me. you very much. Good luck with the, the new film, Homesick. Uh, that was uh, Jason uh, Farries. And if you were to make a film about the last twelve months, who would play you? <laughs> 